effect of magnetic fields on transmission lines. So because of this magnetic fields on the transmission line, the inductance forms. And because of inductance, there is a voltage drop in the transmission line and at the receiving end side, we are not getting a proper voltage. So because of these magnetic fields in the transmission network, some more problem arises. So what are all those? The flux linkage, first we have to start from the flux linkages. The inductance of any conductor has to be calculated by the net flux linkage on the conductor. So here, if we consider a conductor that carries a current I, there will be a magnetic flux set up on the conductor. And that magnetic flux we can split into two forms. One is the magnetic flux that links with the conductor. And the second portion is the flux that links the outermost part of the conductor. So the, now we have to concentrate the flux that which it affects the internal part of the conductor and separately we have to concentrate on the flux which it outside the conductor. So because of these two part, the flux links on the own conductor inside part of the conductor because of that there is a skin, skin effect formation on the conductor. Because of the external magnetic flux linkage, there is a proximity effect. So now we will just see what is mean by skin effect and proximity effect and because of that how the current flows in the transmission line. Because this only deals or this makes your conductor construction it goes to next step, next level. Now we will go for what is mean by skin effect and proximity effect. So these two effects are because of the nature of material, frequency of the system, diameter of the wire and shape of the wire. Skin effect, first we will see. If it is a DC system, so we no need to talk about anything. Like if we take any conductor and if you pass through any DC supply, DC current through the conductor, then all over the cross section of the conductor, there will be a even, the current will flow evenly on the surface, cross sectional surface of the conductor, cross section of the conductor. But this is not possible in AC supply. When you are passing AC current through the conductor, the current only concentrates on the outer surface of the conductor. The core part of the conductor current will not flow. So the main reason for that one is skin effect. So the skin effect it basically deals because of it forms because of the internal flux linkage. Now again consider this conductor, AC current is flowing through the conductor because of that magnetic flux creates and as I said earlier we can split into two form and now we will only concentrate on the flux links on the conductor. So when we are seeing this flux linkage on the conductor, this conductor is made up of many concentric circles. The magnetic flux that links each and every concentric circles. When you are calculating the magnetic flux linkage of each and every concentric circle, the magnetic flux links on the center part of the conductor is more than your flux linkage on the outer part of the conductor. So this offers more inductance on the center part of the conductor 
and less inductance on the outermost part of the conductor. In the same way, we can say this offers more reactance on the center part of the conductor and less on the outermost part of the conductor. That's why the current mostly concentrates on the outermost part because of more reactance on the center part of the conductor, current is not flowing on the center part of the conductor. So now, once the conductor is there, either it may be aluminum or copper, the center portion of the conductor is not utilized for transmitting the current or transmitting the power. So if we say the effective radius of the conductor, if we calculate, because the center portion of the conductor is not utilizing, so we have to again recalculate the radius of the conductor. What is the resistance? formula resistance R equal to rho L by A. So the resistance majorly it depends upon cross sectional area of the conductor. Now your current is not flowing in the center part AC current. So because of that the effective radius of the conductor that reduced. If the effective radius of the conductor is there the radius of the conductor is reduced, then cross-sectional area of the conductor that also, what will happen? That also reduced. Once the cross-sectional area of the conductor reduced, then the effective resistance of the conductor that will increase. That's why whenever you are doing some laboratory or doll, while you are doing your experiment, for calculating the resistance, you will be multiplying with 1.2 for your in order to get the effective resistance value. You will be doing some test on your motor to calculate the resistance, armature resistance or field resistance. Simply you will be giving DC supply and you will be calculating some resistance. In that case, that resistance is because of your DC supply. But for AC, what you have to do, the effective radius is or effective resistance, you have to make it for 1.2 times of your DC resistance. So the main reason is because of this skin effect. The skin effect makes the current to flow only on the outermost part of the conductor. So this effect makes many of the industrial people, researchers, why can't we go for the next level of conductor arrangement? So that's why the ACSR type of conductors came into picture. Aluminium core still reinforced. The center part completely they removed and they inserted the steel core. And that makes your conductor some more strength. So now just we will see. What is mean by skin effect? That skin effect is the tendency of alternating electric current to distribute itself within a conductor so that the current density near the surface of the conductor is greater than at, at its core. Then what is the meaning of proximity effect? Now, as I said that skin effect is because of internal flux linkage and proximity effect is because of your external flux linkage. Now you assume two conductors. Whenever we are talking about external flux, we have to take two conductors. Now consider two conductors and AC current is flowing through that one. The direction of flow of current because depends upon the direction of flow of current your magnetic flux will form accordingly. So once the magnetic flux forms depends upon the distance between the two conductor the magnetic flux the external magnetic flux that will interact with each other and accordingly the net magnetic effect will occur. So once the two conductors are nearby as shown in figure if these two are nearby then 
as like the shown in figure this magnetic flux or the magnetic flux created or both are in the clockwise direction because of the clockwise direction the mag net magnetic flux linkage is here cancel out and there will be a less magnetic flux linkages because of net magnetic flux linkages the half of the portion of the conductor inductance became less and only the current will concentrate more on this half portion only the remaining half portion it offers more inductance than your nearby this conductor half portion so the current flow is only concentrates on the one half portion of the conductors so this is basically depends upon the current flow so here we consider both on both the conductor the current flows on same direction here plus and here plus this plus denotes the current direction in the next diagram it shows one current is flowing and another current is coming out magnetic field is set up on these two conductors are all in the same direction so magnetic net magnetic flux is increased so this offers more inductance on the closer side closer part of the conductor so the current will concentrate on the other side of the two half of the conductors this type of effect is nothing but called as proximity effect